Hello everyone, it's Katrius here, and I welcome you to this new video. And today we're going to play one more round of Chrono Arc. After I played around with Chrono Arc yesterday, I found out that uh, Leon is incredibly interesting. Her counter mechanic is very strong. It helps us uh, defeat enemies before they can actually damage us. Sometimes. Rarely. But it's actually quite a decent DPS type character. Together with Huzz, who also has a pretty interesting gimmick, I want to try this combo out a bit more, stress test them a little bit, and see uh, if they can replace Prestel Ironheart as my favorite starter. From the start, I want to say that those two are characters you have to unlock. Leon is a character. Oh, oops. Leon is a character you unlock by um, you by using credits to buy the parry skill from her uh, in the city and then parried 10 times which is uh, a good setup for her playstyle in fact and Huz is uh, also very reliant on doing stuff with a twisted land Huz is uh, unlocked by giving 7000 gold in total to the rabbit bank which sometimes shows up after bosses so those two are characters you will not have access to in the beginning However, I have already shown you one comp that features a lot of characters that you can use from the beginning in uh, Pressel Ironheart. Pressel Ironheart and Azar, I think we had. So now I want to just try out some stuff that we didn't get to see last time and go for Leon, the, uh, the Counter Queen, and Huzz, the Sadistic Healer, for this run. I've already didn't. Uh, I've already done one run earlier trying to record it, but I got super unlucky at the second boss, and honestly, I I don't think you don't you want to see that. Actually, I might still upload it as like a deleted scenes, but the intro is bit pretty much the same, so I don't know if you actually need that. <laughs> yeah, thinking about it, I believe it is better for me. To Alright, the beginning of the game is still the same, we just chank the enemies and hope we get good skills in the beginning. We got a key from an enemy, that's good. Alright, we do get Relentless Swipe, which is incredibly good in this combination. And we do get Preparation, which is what, the ability we will fix immediately. Basically, Preparation is um, whenever an enemy attacks an ally, we get to attack them first for three times they do that, until we have to recast preparation. Relentless Swipe is a uh, is an AoE counter in our case, which gets its cost reduced by one if an ally takes pain damage this turn, which is something that if we get the right skills on Huzz, we can, uh, we can trigger uh, by ourselves, which is incredibly potent. Alright, we already get our first enemy, which gets relentlessly swiped, or not. Shouldn't matter too much, he gets a turn, we parry that, sloosh, and there we are. And now we just sloosh it again, and that's, that's that. Alright, let's get Huzz going. And we start with three damage abilities. Damn, this is the same thing we got last time. <laughs> oh god, I wanted to have a healing ability. Uh, Whip of Love is a better choice. So Domination is a attack skill that can attack twice. Which is the reason why we took that. And Whip of Love is a very potent one cost healing skill. Both are not abilities I would like to fix, so... Let's not do that. Basic healer is still a better fix than that in the beginning. What's this? Double attack. Yeah. And two soul stones. This could be used to level Leon or Hus to level 3, or we could keep it and add one card draw. I think I'm going for the card draw option. Oh, this is this is bad. This is just plain bad. Ouch. I'm 
Banking search more. Costs two, but... Uh, I'm already not liking this particular run. So the draw skills are very important, so not getting good ones is very, very bad for us. Alright, boss time. Start the boss off by casting preparation. And hitting him. This boss will inevitably deal damage to us. He cannot do anything against that. And now we get search more, it costs too much, so we can use it really. this great the one thing about um, one thing about Leon is whenever she actually parries something not so good whenever she parries something the next turn we get one more uh, mana which is incredibly good incredibly good because sometimes hers uh, requires us to pay more mana when we want to specifically every time an enemy moves before us in a turn Alright, last time we got Charon here, but now we we won't, which is kind of sad. Because I like the Charon combo, but we do get Trisha again. And Trisha is a character I really like. Because she can deal a lot of damage over time. Which is attacking. Also, she's a good holder for the Curious Ring. Yep, yeah, let's get this to Trisha. Let's see what this can. Oh boy, Blink Step is so good. But so is Retribution. Blink Step is basically Trisha's best uh, rare skill. Uh, it deals minimal damage, to be fair. But if it, gar uh, it draws a skill and gives it a buff, which uh, recasts Blink Step, which means it draws another skill. This is very good for drawing and dealing damage at the same time. However, we have minimal mana and no mana, man uh, no real mana uh, management. So I'm going to go for Retribution. Retribution is another counter skill and it's an a it's also a quasi AoE counter ability, which crits when counters. So really good, incredibly potent. We also have an extended strike, which is just a regular AoE ability for two mana. Don't really want that. And let's increase our max mana. So, we do have a very bad uh, draw skill on our main character. I hope that we will be able to get rid of that <coughs> at some point. <coughs> Sorry. Let's see what Mystic Garden 2 brings us. Okay, this is a probably identification scroll. Yep. And lifting scroll, very important. Let's keep that. Another lifting scroll. <coughs> this is really good. So let's take that and give it to Huz. New pay one red. Okay, pay both. Token of protection. This is actually really good for uh, Leon. <coughs> Since she counters by taking damage herself instead of the enemy. God damn it. <coughs> Got it. Oh, I don't have a drink here. Sad. But yeah, since she does that, it is very advised for her to take that. Hmm, Stunning Smite is the best ability here. Now let's see what we get here. Instead of a very hoarse voice, which I had. 
Another thing for Trisha. Trisha's just very good at, at evading, so giving her stuff that just makes her better at evading is actually the matter. I was healing there. So you usually only keep the good stuff. Get rid of the stuff that is not so great. There's a cursed enemy over there, but that's the main reason we're still holding on to the uh to the lifting scrolls, because we can also lift their curses. An effective plan is literally what we need. We need we need better draws. Effective plan is basically that. Alright, time to fight another enemy! <coughs> no need, it's usually tea time. Yep. Alright, we lift the curse. Which makes this fight infinitely easier. Retributions count down one, so we have to make sure that it acts immediately afterwards. And we win! <coughs> Next fight! And I think we can take a pick plan. Actually, this is not that bad. <laughs> Except I'm still unable to grieve. Oh yeah, I can only counter once per turn. I forgot that. <coughs> but yeah, that's that's what healing fountain does. The next three attacks, um, the next three abilities cast will also heal me for seven. This could be incredibly good, depending on what it does. Let's identify. Let's identify it first. That's just not good. That's literally just not good. Yeah, that's not father. Oh yeah, let's get Trisha her, her level up. We want a skill called Illusion Slash, which is something we usually don't get that early. Shadow Step is really good because it uh, helps with her Gimmick and hard pieces. Hard pierce is a good early game skill. And on four, that's good. Well. Shadow step. And it got domination. So basically, whenever I cast Shadow Step, uh, Trisha will get will receive one ability that is known by any ally. Which is pretty helpful. Train him, hit him with domination, and go on. They could up for leveling Trisha and Leon to free. Actually, not Leon, Trisha and Haz. And our shadow step. 
Aw, oh, damn. We have a feeling is good. We have a feeling is probably the best thing we have right now. Actually, give or take heals for more. But if we get a certain um, item later, this might uh, end up being better after all. We get a lot of money. Get the key. Tactical attack was not so good. Breath of Regeneration. Not so good. Purchase the key and go on. Alright, time to see what the boss will bring. I'm not that worried about the boss, unless it's the witch and she uh, tricks us, but... Honestly... Oh, it's a golem! That makes things both easy and awkward, because he only attacks very late. Trash this. Okay, we can easily use all these skills. I want to use this one. Yeah, why not? No need to... Uh, no need to use these because they will immediately counterattack. Use a second of this, and now he will attack. And she will dodge most attacks that come her way. Okay, protect ally will be good, but cut off guard is pink better. Okay, let's start by healing. That's a shadow slash. That's the yeah, that's that's the one we do want on uh, Trisha. As her fixed skill, too. We take this. Because we'll crit, and then we protect. Basically, what we're doing here is we make sure that we don't have many skills in hand to, uh,. In order to make sure that he can, we don't have to play as many skills. Well, if love is really good.
Alright, uh... Can I deal 42 damage this turn? That's the card we want fixed on Huzz. Doesn't really do anything for us here, but... And this should be GG. Yep. Golem defeated. And we get the skeleton key. Received 10 keys? Yo? That's pretty that's pretty good. I think. In that case, I will not have to buy keys and ever again. Okay. Hmm, that's a Shadow Slash for free. That was the easiest pick ever. Also, I want to get Carrot and Stick, but I don't. Wheel of Love is just as good. All right. So if I put this here. Ah, now this is always going to be in here. Well, that's fine. I have enough keys for the rest of my life. Which means I can potentially, if, if I get to the late, late game, I can... Uh, I can save my money for some good equipment. Eggs of Rage is really good. Uh, was on Leon. Since we have restrained in Haas, I don't need to particularly care about speed. Okay, there's one enemy I don't like. Uh, we still don't have a skill that allows us to cost reduce relentless wipe. Fusion kills everything again, which is what I have it for.
Not too bad. Right. Hmm, I want to level up Leon, but I also want to level up uh, Huz to maybe get Carrot on Stick. Or I just get more mana. It's easy. God's Deed is a skill I do not need. Or ever a thing I do not need. Alright. I only buy the skill book here. Yeah, I don't need to buy the keys because I have nine of them. Alright, Relentless Swipe. Would be so good if we had Carrot and Stick, but we don't. Uh, I think we take give and take here. Yeah. Okay, we're not going to go for the curse one here. All right, we do want to restrain that. I would have loved to see a retrib uh, retribution here, but we can't have everything. Or can this not draw retribution? That's kind of sad. But I care. I hate these uh, horse enemies, by the way. Okay. Him too. Means he gets one action instead of two. And that should be enough to kill it. Bong. Yep. As I said, this party is rough potent. Uh, I'm not too worried about this party doing well. Mm, let's level up Leon and get... Relentless White would be great. Let's take that. Getting more counters, especially AoE ones, not too bad. However, we still have the issue of being unable to rock relentless, relentless wipes uh, special case. Oh, that shouldn't be too much of a deal breaker for us. Okay. This is probably better than the Curious Ring. No, it's worse. Can give it to Huz. Down there is a cursed enemy, and there's the boss. 
Is it going on with a cursed one? Big mouse. Oh, we just lift the curse. Which colon does this have to? That hits that. Enemy's dead. The next set, we save retribution for next time. This enemy always has a pretty high crit chance from what I feel. And that should be the game. Oh, except if an enemy dodges, that will always still hurt. And now everyone gets fully healed. That's the power of hers. That is literally the power of hers right there. She just does far. Cool. Just something. Could be a meter scroll. It's a transfer scroll, don't need that. Purification scroll. Swiftness scroll. So basically, whenever I uh, get both scrolls again, they tell me what they are. There's no right main reason why I'm doing this. Pontus ring is. Worse than everything we have so far. ID scroll keeping. This is probably a scroll of meters or an enchanting scroll. I don't want to find out yet. Okay, and if there's only the boss left, I do want to try to level up Huz once more. We did not get what we wanted, but we get another whip of love, I suppose. Well, let's get to it! Now that is mean! That is mean! Because it's really hard to survive an attack from this. Okay. Definitely gonna get, go prep. I wish we could give healing moon to everyone that with this. That's what I mean. Minus 24. Okay, next time we get a wave of love, that's good. Should give, bring her back to the living. The swiftness that's good. Right next turn we get more heal. Uh, I mean, not more heal, but we get more uh, mana. Kill the small one. I just attack once. This could be another kaboom. The 
bait reduced, it's always good. Alright, uh, this is still active. And that was a boss. Mean gimmick, but it luckily did not come into play. Also, this is definitely a relic, which is helpful in longer fights. Okay, Caron sick? Nope. Hmm. If Life Berry wouldn't deal 19 damage, it would be really good. We'll take it anyway. Because I do not fear God. So now, who rounds out this con? We have two dash dealers and one healer. Now, with Phoenix, um. The uh, life barrier thing would be great again because Phoenix does not care about health that much. That being said, Phoenix is also not great as a character, especially. Oh, I okay. We have four breads. Uh, this is like funnily enough. This is the comp I had the first time I tried the Leon House comp. If we take Phoenix here, we take Phoenix here. Now a plus two means that he gets to level up twice, uh... Okay. Lecture is great because it copies the, uh, the first skill we have in the deck, so we're gonna take Lecture. We're definitely gonna take Efficient Use of Bread. And we're definitely going to take a... Blazing Regen is pretty good. So let's do that. Phoenix is basically a supportive, uh, flexibility kind of character. He's got a lot of different abilities, and everything is kind of weird, but... Basically, efficient use of bread only exists to give us fine bread and throw bread. Throw bread is a really good, uh, ability that deals a lot of damage if you have enough bread. And basically, Phoenix does not get a... Oh, let me, let me just show you in battle. But I want to add one card draw and we gotta take hasty counter. Now this is where the game starts getting really hard. And I think... How far did we get in the first run? I think we died to a cursed enemy here. Or was it even later? I'm not sure anymore. I think it was... If, uh, we, I think we died to an enemy here. Basically, this is, uh, the bosses here are the first bosses that are really going to kick our ass. Ah, no counter. Hmm. Blazing Regen is a skill that draws a skill, deals 5 damage to its owner, and, uh, and then heals everyone. Or rather, restores everyone's health gauge. Thing is, um, Phoenix itself does not get a healing uh, gauge, but he cannot die. He can find bread though. All right, lecture has swiftness, so decent, decent. Get a relentless swipe on that. Hmm. So yeah, he just gets uh, damaged. Restrained. You take damage. Relentless white is now one. And 
now we have Royal Glove, which can reheal them. Nice. Now we can trash one of these cards to get this back. Relentless Swipe, I think, in here is good. Also, we can just eat one bread. And he's almost back at full health. See, that's that's the plan for these kind of battles. Oh, I don't need such so retribution is the skill I want. And then a basic attack on the enemy, and he's dead. Great ID scroll. Do we have a lifting scroll? We do. Taking no chances of cursed enemies here. One goal I have is increase my mana one more. We sadly do not have my favorite ability on Haas. Haas has a lot of abilities though. Alright, there's a boss. I do not want to fight a boss yet. And here's treasure. That's pretty bad. A shop. Uh, this is just CC resist. I don't want that. Mm. We already have this. We already have all of this. I take Call of God. Another key. We sure are getting a lot of keys. All right, let's fight here. I don't really care about the, sh the curse because we're just gonna dispel it. We don't have a counter ability on our hand. actually not too great right now. Right, uh... Boyos, Ferrous Tanks, uh, let's do this again. Wait once, and OK. 
Okay. Kinda sad that the wrong enemy attack force, but whatever. They don't. They both die. Okay. I'm already noticing myself be, uh, becoming way more quiet again. I have. I should concentrate on. Ooh. No reason to change stuff up yet. Yeah, I should concentrate more on commentating a little bit. Okay, we cannot use that because we do need our bread. Bread is currently a source of Phoenix's strength. We can increase our mana once more, and that's kind of it. And this is an enemy I don't like. I only beat him once, because he's kind of difficult. Okay, this means we cannot have 3 cost or 0 cost skill on our skills on our hand at the end of a turn. Just me. different kind of counter. Not happening apparently. <laughs> Whistles. Damn it. That's kind of sad. Ah. Alright. I still have one zero. <laughs> now I'm at least safe from this. This is swiftness. This is a little bit concerning. Well, I don't have a specifically free cost ability at all. Oh, yeah, I gotta use that. I'm gonna use this. So this one is dead. Can have zero or two in hand. care about balloons. Zero or three, okay. Hmm. 
Time bomb is on her. I don't like bomb. Every time. Yeah, this bu this boss is always killing me with the time bombs. Feast on bread. Okay. It is always a flight balloon if I do that. Then I just lost with retribution. Yeah. This enemy is going to be the end of me every time. I don't have the heals anymore to do this. So I'll, uh, I'll just skip this up here. This boss is always really difficult because of his bombs. I do not know how to... I don't know how I already killed it once. I think I just had a really, really strong burst combo to kill it. But honestly, that boss, exceptionally difficult. But still, I like this combo that I had. Maybe one day I'll have to fight the, uh, the, the Time Eater, which is the easiest 2-2 boss. And I'll get a bit further than that. But for now, this is all I've got time for.
and honestly, this is already almost an hour. However, I hope you are having a good time and see you guys maybe next time. Bye bye.